Okay, I think we've got just a, a couple more lessons on pointers before we move into classes, which is great. Uh, once again, I'm going to start with a, a fresh new program. So delete all of this, uh, this stuff from the last lesson. And delete all of this stuff too. And we'll start again. Now we're going to do chars, C style char strings and char arrays and strings and base and a string array as well. Just a quick recap because it's a while since we did it. But back in the good old days, we used to have um, just single characters like that. And obviously, we can print that out to see that we're getting what we think we're getting. Let's see what that gives us. Is of undeclared N line. Oh, hang on. Done it again, haven't I? Let's try that again. Okay, so we get we get the simple char X that. Now what we can do next is we can build upon that single character, that's a single brick, and create a wall of bricks in, in the good old days by creating an array of characters. Now um, we could you know, set it a certain number of things, but we don't need to if we immediately hard code what it is we're getting. And uh, we can print that out too, of course. And give that a whiz. Now, just to, again, just another little recap. Um, this line here, I'll put it in some comments, is sort of equivalent to this. where we are setting up an array mal for so I can't uh, can't do this I'm moving my lips bo oh but remember at the end of that string automatically there is a special null character so although this looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, if we, it is actually nine in disguise because we've got this one on the end. Let's see if I can just show that. Um, yeah, if you just look at that little message there, you can see char nine. Now the missing ninth character is this chap here, which has been sort of in the background. C++ has kind of gone, okay, what I'll do is I'll just stick on a little for you in the background without you knowing anything about it. So that's just a little recap. Anyhow, we're more interested now in arrays. Now I'm going to do two types of array. We'll do the old fashioned kind of array. The first one, char star, what does that look like? Does that remind you of pointers? Um, what we're doing is we're having an array of strings. These are C style strings. So uh, pinky, perky, and porky. And let's not worry too much about the memory allocations and things here. Otherwise, this could take some time. But that's three strings. This thing here is an array of characters, chars, to make one string. This thing here, char star, ooh, something to do with pointers, is an array of individual strings. Uh, for anyone who's into biochemistry, this is a bit like um, a triglyceride, with this being the glycerol, and then these being the um, the fatty acids hanging off the glycerol in the triglyceride structure. Anyway, that's probably a bit too much uh, biochemistry for this time of day. Now. 
we can print out those names. Let's uh, let's do our usual little fold. Oh, by the way, notice this uh, this little warning here. The way of doing this with this old-fashioned kind of pointer-style construction is is deprecated in this version of C++ and most versions of C++. What this means is you can do it, but you really shouldn't. It's like it's like writing with a quill and dipping your quill into a pot of ink. You can still do it if you want to, but please use a biro or use a computer instead these days. Anyway, you can still do it. It just uh, it's just telling you, please, you know, don't use that quill. But you can if you really want to. Okay, I'm just going to um, print out this, the elements of this array using our usual kind of method for doing that. See out. Um, see names. Let's put the I. I'll finish off the construction like that. Copy that. Stick it there. Put an eye in it. And run that. It will work even with even with the warning. Okay, so now we get our three strings out. Position zero, position one, position two. Ground floor, first floor, second floor. Lovely. Now, we don't. I'm going to leave this um, this deprecated thing in, even with this warning, which is ugly, just so you can look at it later. But you know, these days we typically use a slightly different thing called a string, rather than a char array, and then a char star array for an array of strings. We'll do it like this with these kind of um, more modern formats. This is an immutable thing. You know, it's a thing by itself, like a double or an int. Uh, it can be variable in length, but then a double can go from 0.0, .0 to 799 million, can't it? So that's sort of variable in length too. Well, this is variable in length, and we'll let C++ worry about the memory management of that behind the scenes for the moment. And obviously we can, we can print that out. This string, more modern C-style string. Because using pointers to go through arrays looking for null characters is not the most fun thing in the world to do. Uh, okay, so there we are. Uh, again, we, we, we don't. I, I would normally delete all of this, but what I'll do is I'll leave it in there for you to look at later. Let's use what it really wants to do. What it really wants to do is something a bit more like this. We're going to have an array of strings. So I'll say CPP names. And we'll change the names. Um, and um, what we now do is I just need to just copy that to C, stick that in there. Put that in there, and bang, there we go, super. So just a quick reminder then of strings, we've just done some string arrays, we've, we've noticed how in the old days something pointerish is going on, but in the modern day and age we can forget about that. Remember if you send that off to a function it's going to be a pointer anyway, cpp names, let's just print it out. Just print that little thing out, and you can see that that looks an awful lot like a something that would be inside a pointer. Because really, again, keeping things simple, it's a pointer in disguise. Okay, in the next lesson, I think we will we shall do our last pointer lesson, and we shall play around with something called new and delete. And then on the next lesson after that, we shall move into classes. Hooray! can feel your excitement from here. Okay, bye-bye.